Hello, my name is John Bates. I'm a product manager for Adobe Analytics. During this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new capability being released in the fall of 2016 called Intelligent Alerts. Now as a marketer, a marketing analyst, you need to know the, about the important changes that are occurring within your data. You also want to make sure that any communication that you're receiving is focused on the most important changes. Intelligent Alerts helps to solve both of these problems. To illustrate, imagine that you're looking at your products within any particular report suite. And in this case, I can see that I have three products right here that are being ranked by purchases or orders. If I select these and then right click, I can create an alert from this selection. I want to be alerted whenever there's an important change from my top three products. Immediately, you then land within the Alert Builder. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name, Top Products Alerts. You can then specify the time granularity, how often you would like to receive these alerts, and how frequently they, they are being checked. This can be at hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. You can then specify also the recipients. So in this case, I'll put myself. And then you can put um, distribution lists as well as uh, mobile phone numbers. Uh, beginning with the country code, so I'm going to go ahead and put my number here. You'll also notice that we automatically apply an expiration date, which is one year from the date in which the, the alert was created. We will then uh, notify you um, a few times before it actually expires to remind you that the alert is set to expire so that you can come back into the alert manager and renew that particular alert particular alert. As we move further down within the alert builder, you'll notice that we have a number of triggers. Send an alert when any of these metrics um, are actually triggered. In this case, orders when there's an anomaly that exceeds the 95% threshold. Now, alert triggers do not have to be based upon anomaly detection. Uh, you could also change this to other rules-based approaches like is above or equals or below or equals or changes by a percentage. You'll notice here that anomaly detection can then also be applied not just to daily time granularity, but hourly, monthly, and weekly. In this case, we're looking at orders when there's an anomaly at the 95% threshold, and the product equals Wasatch Extreme Parka, or when there's an, an anomaly in orders for the Bonneville Shore Swimsuit product, or when there's an anomaly in orders for the Tempanogos Scarf product. I can also apply segments, so if I want to look at orders for the Wasatch Extreme Parka and I want them to be mobile customers, I can then apply that segment right here. I can also bring in over total metrics, if I want to bring in uh, revenue as well for this particular product and mobile customers, I can do that right here um, as well. You'll notice an additional capability here, uh, the alert preview. So oftentimes you want to know how frequently to expect any particular alert. Uh, you don't want yourself or others that are set as recipients to be to feel like they're getting spam, spammed or receiving too much communication. What we'd actually do, the system automatically goes back historically and models out this alert recipe as you're building it out to let you know how frequently you should expect this alert uh, to actually notify you and the other recipients. In this case, we can see that uh, six times over the last 30 days, this alert would have been triggered. As you dig down deeper, you'll notice that for each trigger, we actually um, identify which triggers are, are contributing to these six uh, alerts that would have been triggered over the last 30 days. And let's say you want to actually adjust this and lower it just a little bit more. To do that, I can come down here and you'll notice that we have four times that this alert rule for this product right here, the Bonneville Shore Swimsuit, that this would have been triggered uh, a communication. If I switch my threshold to 99%, now this would have occurred less often, and overall, this entire alert recipe would have only triggered two times over the last 30 days. If I'm happy with the way that I created this alert, I can then click Save, and now my alert is live. Once you receive a communication, uh, it'll come via SMS text, as well as email. Um, you can create an alert as well from the components right here. I can just say create new alert. It'll take you right into the, a, a blank alert builder 
and you can begin to define how you would like the triggers that you would like to apply to an alert. You can also manage your alerts by coming up to components, down to alerts, and here you'll be able to see all of the different alerts that you've created. Um, you can see who, who the owner is, tags applied, when it was last modified. You can also select alerts and copy them uh, and change their definitions uh, based upon these copies, so on and so forth. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, training on intelligent alerts and we appreciate your time.